Hey guys, it's Sumit from Tech Dhwani and right now I'm at the uh, Beam Box here at CES 2017. I also have with me Casey. Hi Casey, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Pretty good. So can you talk to us a little bit about the Beam, the product, what it does um, and uh, just give us some more information about it? Yeah, sure. So this is a Beam. It's a telepresence device. It's used for remote communication. So I'm currently sitting at home in Berkeley, California, and I can control the movement using the arrow keys on my keyboard, and I can move around as if I was actually there in person. Um, so it allows me to go into the office and check in with a coworker or check up on a factory overseas. Um, doctors have used them to meet with patients if they're not actually in the hospital. Um, people also use them in their homes to visit with friends and family or say check up on grandma if she maybe needs some more assistance. Um, so it's pretty straightforward and easy to use and you can go anywhere I want to. Okay. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about the product availability and the price? Yes, so we have a couple different models. I'm currently on the Beam Pro, so this is our corporate enterprise model. It's $13,950 to purchase, or it can be leased for $574 a month. And then we do have a smaller model called the Beam, um, and that one has two different versions. If you get the most basic, it's $1,995, um, and then you can upgrade it to an eight-hour battery life, get a second Wi-Fi radio, a bit of a faster speed, and a better admin tool for $3,995. Okay, so the stock battery that comes with the device, how long does it last? This one that I'm on has eight hours. The smaller beam has two hours unless you upgrade, and then if you do the upgrade, you get eight hours. Okay, and how long does it take to recharge the device? Uh, it's about four hours of recharge time, but we always park them as soon as we're done, and that way they'll be fully charged anytime anybody wants to come in and use it. Okay, and does uh, this device uh, has a sort of um, thing where it could just park itself um, on a charging dock? Yeah, so I have to drive back over towards the charger, but then once I'm close enough, it does detect that the charger is there and it will turn itself around and back itself up onto it on its own. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Casey, for talking to us.